Welcome, welcome, and welcome back to our Sunday Snippets, and we are still talking about filters. This one I think you will enjoy. We're gonna talk about the blurring of the background. So things like, oh, motion blur, Gaussian blur, things like that. You know how like wedding photos have the bride and the groom all in focus and everything else in the background is kind of blurry. So stay tuned for the next few minutes and watch how you can create those blurs with using filters. I'm Michelle Stelling, the founder of the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. Go check out our website at naods.com. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. See them every once in a while. This one's here. This one's pretty cool. I, I've used this when my son was in sports and it's called the blur effect. So this one right here is the motion blur. The top one there, I've used that before. I like that one. This next one is called the Gaussian Blur, which I use pretty often because a lot of people want just the face to be in full focus and then everything behind it to be blurry. And I'll show you how I did that. But these blur filters are pretty cool. And then here is the radial blur, which eh, I'm not sure if I'd use it, but you never know, you might need it for something. See that radial blur? Right, so let me close out of this and let's just try those out real quick. So here is the regular photo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop it real close so that it's much better. I'm gonna get it really tight. And now what I wanna do is I want to take just the face and have the face in so I'm going to right click and duplicate or control or command J as in JC and do a couple of them so that I can do different blurs. So I'm at the top layer there. I'm going to go to filter, blur. And the cool thing here is that you don't, sometimes you don't want to do the whole entire photo. So for instance, if you go into Gaussian blur, it's going to do the whole photo. But what I like to do is I will select, let's just say I want to select part of his face, maybe a circle. Let's do the rectangle marquee. So I checked this and let's go down to the elliptical and pick this one, the M tool. I'm going to put a slight feather on that. So maybe about 40 pixel feather and then just select his face. So I'm moving that into his face area. I'm going to go select and inverse. Now you could do this as a mask if you're good. That's a great way to do it. But I'm just going to go to filter and blur and Gaussian blur. And then you can take this little level up as high as you want it to. Of course, you wouldn't go that high, but I'm just kind of going down, going down. And let's just go right about there. This is really good with wedding pictures if you just want the bride and the groom's face to be kind of clear and everything in the background. And then you can click on OK and then deselect. And now you have a blur in the background. Do you guys ever use this? I'm going to click on this next one and turn off that and do another one. So I think I want it to look like he's running. So I probably shouldn't have cropped so much off of him, but let's just do a quick selection now. And maybe it's going to be, yeah, let's just click, select his face and then part of his uniform. And I want it to look like he's running. So let's just do this part. Now it should be probably better selection, but you get the idea. And then I'm going to go back into select and inverse and filter, blur, and this was motion blur. Okay, now it doesn't look very good. I should have made a better selection. Sorry about that, but you get the idea. So let's just kind of change the distance. We can change the direction of the blur, like so. So then you would just click on OK. I'm going to cancel that because that's not a very good selection. So yeah, it was under filter, blur, and Gaussian blur was before this one, and this one was 
motion blur. Another one is the radial blur. So let's just take this elliptical marquee tool again. And I'm just going to go right about here and just know that you can move this once you make the selection. And I'm going to go with the inverse again and filter radial blur and you can kind of gauge it here and I'm going to click on OK and there you have another type of a blur. Eh, it's okay. I think the one that's used the most is that Gaussian blur. <laughs>